Hey guys, Classic Gengar here, and this is going to be your giveaway for the video. It is a Battle Ready Shiny Coma O. It is a physical set, adamant, bulletproof ability with leftovers, Dragon Dancing, Earthquake, Sky Cut, Dragon Claw. This is a pretty good set. I like this set a lot. It's put in work for me, and I hope you guys enjoy it too. Stick around in the video, and I'll tell you what to do to claim this beautiful Pokemon. Alright guys, thanks a lot. Hey guys, Classic Gengar here, and today we are battling someone new. I know, finally, right? So, I'm going to be using the team you see on the screen, my Scarf Garchomp, Citrus Berry Lele, I need to change that, Celesteela, Toxapex, Mimikyu, and Salazzle. Now, Salazzle put in a lot of work last time I actually got to use this team, so I kind of expect the same thing. So... We do not know what he's brought yet, but let's see. Did ask for an OU battle. Um, hopefully, hold on, let me fix this. I'm sorry, guys, that probably looks like crap. Just the burp. There we go. That's moderately better. All right, so he has probably, ooh, Alakazam, Tapu Bulu, Dragonite, another Salazzle. Whew, he's got some Scary crap on his team. Man. Well. Shit. I think I'm going to lead with Scarf Chomp. Kind of scout. Uh, it does work against pretty much all of his Pokemon. It does outspeed the... Unless it's a Scarf Alakazam, which would be nuts. But um, I think I'm, it's a pretty solid lead. It counters the Tapu Bulu. One shots it with Poison Jab, unless it's, unless Garchomp is burnt, in which case he does not one-shot. So he just leads with Salazzle here against my Garchomp. Now, um, I will outspeed unless this thing is Scarfed, but this thing might be Sashed, which would be a problem. I'm going to go for the Rock Slide here. Oh, he stays in. Oh, wow, that's... He sashed. Shit. No, he just lives. So if I would have went for EQ. Fuck. Well. That stinks. Who does he have that wants to take? He has his Metagross, which we want to take, but hold on. Hold on. Send out my Toxapex here. Um, yeah, I kind of I kind of hope he switches. Um no, no, he just goes for another slip pump. It's crazy. It's crazy. The insanity. All right, whatever. Um, I am just going to scald here. Shadow Claw. Shadow Claw. What is this set? This is interesting. Um, um, interesting indeed. Well. That's the Salazzle down. Um, I'm surprised to live the Rock Slide. I mean, I kind of expected the swap. Because Scarf Tromp is so common in the meta. Alakazam. Zam, Zam. Well, I kind of expect a Psychic here. So I'm just going to go into my Celesteela. Now, Celestia can't really hurt this thing too bad, especially if it's Magic Guard, which I assume it is. But this Mega Alakazam, Mega Alakazam is gonna get my Beast Boost. Well, shit. Well, at least I can Leech Seed it now. But it depends on what it, if it has Psychic or Psy Shock. Psy Shock. That's probably not very good. I'm especially defensive, so. But it might not carry anything to hit me with. And he does have a Tapu Bulu, but I counter Tapu Bulu pretty nicely. I'm just going to go for a Leech Seed here. He might not stay in, but he might. I mean, I didn't expect him to stay in with Salazzle against my my Garchomp. He's got Charge Beam. That's, that's kind of scary. But at the same time, it gets the boost. He gets the boost. He gets the scary, scary boost. Well, 
I am kind of gonna see him go for it again. I don't see why he wouldn't. And so that would give me a free swap into my Garchomp. Which is huge. Free swaps, free swap. I mean, he might see this coming from a mile away and go for a dazzling gleam and then he goes for the focus blast. That is in freaking insane and that is terrifying now. That is scary as crap. So I'm gonna go into mimic you. That sucks. That was my very best answer to some of his scariest scariest Pokemon. So I'm just gonna go for another I'm gonna go for Sword Stance. He's gonna go for a charge beam. Plus two will take him out. He would have to be very defense invested to survive a plus two Shadow Snake. I could get super ballsy and go for plus four. But um I don't see the point. Well actually Oh, and he's still got the Leech Seed, so that's good. That's a little bit. So, I feel like he's definitely going down now. And my Sash is still intact, so I'm in a pretty good shape. Pretty good shape. Okay, so that is enough to take down that threat. He was at, what, plus three? Dude, dude, that is insane. I've never seen Charge Beam on an Alakazam, but it kind of makes sense now. Like looking at it when it's being used. Alright, so he's going to send out his Dragonite, which is interesting. Let's see. I'm going to play rough here. I think I'll speed, yeah. I think go for a Dragon Dance, but that is huge damage. Weakness policy? Yeah. Shoot. Dragon Dance. He's going to try to Dragon Dance. He, he doesn't have priority, though. I don't think he expected that play rough to do so much damage. Like, if he's... Was that... That had to be multi-scale. I mean, plus two... He has Aqua Jet! <laughs> Dude! <laughs> I am just blown away by these sets. It's crazy. I love it. The Aqua Jet Dragonite, which makes sense to run Aqua Jet over extreme speed. It actually does. And then, um, because Mimikyu is such a huge threat, then Metagross is going to come in and he's going to outspeed me. Unless it's a bulky Metagross, which it's probably not. It's probably not. Wait, right no way. Well, I kind of wish my Sash was still in. That does huge damage. Because for I outspeed. Oh man, that's a bummer. That is a huge bummer. I outspeed, so he's not speed invested. Which means Salazzle can come in and flamethrower him to death. A bullet punch will not take me out. I am resisting it. Resisting it. Man, too bad I'm, I'm Y4 instead of Focus Sash. He doesn't even go for it. Probably. I don't know. I don't know. That's. That Alakazam, though, is terrifying, man. That's so... If it had any kind of defenses, that would have been, like, my worst nightmare. Crocodile. Crocodile, Crocodile, Crocodile. Is he scarfed? Is he scarfed? I'm good for a front door. He might be scarfed. No, I don't think so. This is gonna hurt. I don't think it's gonna take it out. Yeah. He goes for the Earthquake. That's gonna take me out for sure. I mean, he's not Moxie though, which would be the worst case scenario. It's a Moxie Crocodile. That's Scarfed. But he's not. He's not. And then... Seal of Steel, I can just come in and... Take it away. Well, this has been a quick battle. Relatively. Alright, flash cannon. Um, you know, actually, I think I'm gonna throw a giveaway at the beginning. He's got Fire Fang. I'm so lucky. 
I get the burn. And the flinch <laughs> in one turn. This is crazy. Oh man, that's not good. Um, who is his other Pokemon? Crocodile. I think all the Pokemon he's revealed are dead. So it's Crocodile and Tapu Bulu that are left. I definitely should. Fuck, I might lose this one. No. No, probably. Well, maybe. That's 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 a chance. There is a chance. I'm just gonna go for Flash Cannon if. Thunderfang, ooh, scary. So Thunderfang, Firefang, Earthquake, and he probably has his Dark Stab. But he's not Scarfed. So um, I might outspeed, I think. Outspeed. Um, there's a fairly decent chance that I do. Now in his... No, he goes for EQ, so I guess he doesn't have Dark Stab, which is good for me, uh, best case. Oh, that hits so hard. Man. It all comes down to what kind of Tapu Bulu he's running. If he's running Speedy Bulu, I could be in pretty bad shape. Um, uh, actually... Ah, oh, but if he's Choice Banded, I do not want to let Toxapex take a hit from Grassy Surge, but I don't want him to stay in the grassy terrain either. <sighs> Man, this is... Alright, I think I gotta go... I gotta see if he is faster than me. He's not faster than me, so that's good. So, let's see how much damage this does. That does really good damage and get a special attack drop, which I don't think matters. Smart Strike! It's got Smart Strike. This is crazy. Alright, well. Now it all comes down to if I can survive whatever he's got to hit me with. Because I will be able to take it out with Sludge Wave. And I don't know if he can one-shot me with any of his attacks. Horn Leech. That's pretty scary. He does about half, but then he gets all that recovery back. But Sludge Wave is four times effective, and uh, if I got the poison, and if he survives and I get the poison, that'd be great. If he doesn't survive, that was actually way closer than I thought it was going to be. So I guess I'm going to throw a giveaway in this video. Um, you'll know I'll put the Pokemon before, but uh, deposit a... Let's go with... Let's go with Bounce Wheat. Deposit a Bounce Wheat in the GTS asking for whatever I posted at the beginning of the video and then reply in the comments below the level gender, well the gender is going to be female, but don't just put level gender and if it's got a nickname and then your character's in-game name and then uh, let me know and have a great day guys. Also check out my Patreon. There's rewards and stuff if you guys support me. Um, you don't need to. And then my Twitter, uh, if I get more followers on Twitter, I'll start doing uh, asking for battles there. All right, have a great day, guys. Hope you enjoyed this video. I enjoyed this battle. See you later.